Hey there, welcome back to our channel where we explore the most fascinating tales from the past. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey through time to uncover the stories of the 12 richest individuals in ancient history. Trust me, their wealth makes modern billionaires look like pocket change collectors. So buckle up and get ready for a roller coaster ride through gold mines, empires, and unimaginable opulence. Number one, Mansa Musa, the gold-hearted emperor. First is Mansa Musa of Mali, who reigned from 1312 to 1337. Picture this, a king so rich that his generosity caused an economic crisis. Mansa Musa distributed so much gold during his pilgrimage to Mecca that he single-handedly devalued it. Talk about making it rain. His vast wealth came from Mali's abundant gold mines and strategic trade routes. Mansa Musa's fortune was so immense that it said he could have been the wealthiest person ever. Imagine him on Instagram today. Hashtag Gold King. Number two, Augustus Caesar, the empire's purse holder. Next, we journey to Rome to meet Augustus Caesar, the original Richie Rich of the Roman Empire. As the first emperor from 27 BC to 14 AD, Augustus had his fingers in every pie, or should we say every gold coin. He controlled entire territories, collected taxes like they were going out of style, and amassed resources like a pro. Augustus' wealth wasn't just about money, it was power. He literally had the empire's purse strings in his hands. Number three, Akhenaten, the gold-minded pharaoh. Now let's detour to ancient Egypt to visit Pharaoh Akhenaten, who ruled from 1353 to 1336 BC. This guy was more than a king. He was a religious revolutionist. By centralizing religious authority and controlling Egypt's gold mines, Akhenaten didn't just rule the land, he ruled the economy too. Gold wasn't just bling to him, it was divine. Number four. Croesus, the original rich as Croesus. Ever heard the saying, as rich as Croesus? Well, let me introduce you to the man himself. King Croesus of Lydia, reigning from 560 to 546 BC, had gold mines so lucrative that they became a stuff of legends. Lydia's trade routes were like the ancient Silk Road, if the Silk Road was paved with gold. Croesus' wealth was so renowned that his name became synonymous with being filthy rich. That's legacy, folks. Number five, Genghis Khan, the plundering tycoon. Hold on to your hats, because here comes Genghis Khan, the Mongol Empire's ultimate conqueror and wealth accumulator. From 1162 to 1227, this fearsome leader didn't just conquer lands, he hoarded wealth from trade routes, tributes, and, well, a fair bit of plundering. Genghis Khan knew how to make an empire profitable by literally taking everything in sight. Number six, Kublai Khan, the empire expander. Then there was Kublai Khan, Genghis' grandson, who ruled from 1215 to 1294. This guy wasn't just riding on grandpa's coattails. He expanded the Mongol empire and implemented economic policies that would make any modern economist nod in approval. Kublai Khan's wealth wasn't just inherited, it was cultivated. Number seven, Nero, the infamous rich kid. Now for a bit of drama, let's talk about Nero, the Roman Emperor from 54 to 68 AD. Famous for his, let's say, eccentric lifestyle, Nero inherited the empire's vast resources. He was the ancient world's equivalent of a rich, rebellious teenager, but with an empire to fund his antics. Number 8, Solomon, the Golden King. Let's tone it down with King Solomon of Israel, reigning from 967 to 928 BC. Famous for his wisdom, Solomon's wealth wasn't just about gold, it was about trade and tribute. He turned Israel into a trading hotspot, and his riches became the stuff of biblical legends. Solomon's reign is a testament to the power of strategic thinking and diplomacy in accumulating wealth and prosperity. Number nine, Hot Shepsut the Queen of Riches. Queen Hatshepsut of Egypt, ruling from 1479 to 1458 BC, wasn't just any pharaoh. She was a powerhouse in a male-dominated world. By expanding trade and controlling resources, she became one of the richest pharaohs ever. Hatshepsut showed the boys how it's done, with both grace and gold. 
Number 10, Sargon II, the Conquering Collector. Meet Sargon II, the Assyrian Empire's king from 722 to 705 BC. This guy wasn't just collecting stamps. He was collecting territories and filling his coffers with tribute and plunder. Sargon II's wealth came from his unstoppable conquests. He was the ancient world's collector-in-chief. Number 11, Marcus Licinius Crassus, the land tycoon. Coming in at number 11 is Marcus Licinius Crassus of the Roman Republic, living from 115 to 53 BC. Nicknamed Crassus the Rich, he was the ancient world's land mogul. Through land speculation and various ventures, he amassed a fortune so large that it made him a legend in Roman history. Talk about a real estate empire. Number 12, Wang Mang, the reforming rich man. Last but not least, let's visit Wang Mang of the Jin Dynasty in China, ruling from 9 to 23 AD. This guy was all about land reforms and trade control. Wang Mang knew that to make money, you had to move with the times even if those times were over 2,000 years ago. His innovative economic policies reshaped ancient China and left a lasting legacy. And there you have it, the 12 richest individuals from ancient history, whose wealth was measured not just in coins, but in empires, trade routes, and gold mines. They showed us that true wealth comes in many forms, power, influence, and yes, a whole lot of shiny gold. If you loved this golden journey through history, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more fascinating tales. And now we want to hear from you. Who do you think was the most impressive on this list? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, keep digging for that historical gold. And remember, the past is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. <laughs>